Good morning, YouTube. This is my first video. Um, I don't know too much about silver stacking or gold as my first purchase was two weeks ago. Um, and, you know, the main reason why I'm posting this video is I had a question on this. Let's see if I can get a picture. Now, the question I had is the serial number. Everything I'm reading online says it should have six, a six number serial number. This one has seven and it starts with a letter. Um, I did take all this to a coin shop and they tested it with the machine and said all of this was, you know, as it was listed. So it's all real. But I'm still unsure about this one and this one. Um, this one has a seven digit serial number too. And then, like I said, everything I've been reading online shows them and states that they should have only six. So if any of you know or could give me any advice, I would gladly appreciate it. Um, like I said, um, I'll continue with the video. I got, I got all of this within two weeks. Um, believe it or not, I know a lot of you are going to be shocked and scared and, you know, like probably turn white as a ghost, but you know, I did get it all on Craigslist. Um, all the eight key, the, I think these are 10 ounces. Yeah, 2015 year of the goat, 10 ounce, 999 silver. There's eight of those. Um, the one kilo and the 50 ounce and the two 10 ounce bars here. And then all of this gold. Um, we got three ten dollar, I believe, eagles. <coughs> There's three of those. Eighteen ninety nine. Uh, Nineteen oh six. Ten dollar. Um, three gold pandas, 30 gram AU999, I got three of those, and then I got a half ounce kangaroo, and I believe a quarter ounce if I can get it. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to get that, <clears throat> but it's a quarter ounce. Year of the monkey. Um, and then I got a, I think a $5 eagle from 1986, I believe. But sorry for the camera. Um, like I said, I'm new to this YouTube stuff. I've been reading and watching a ton of your guys' videos um, and decided to give it a shot. And so all of this on this side that I just listed, bought I bought from one deal. And then about a week later, the same guy, you know, texted me or called me up and said that he had another two kilos and um, a couple of other silver things. And I said I wanted the kilos, but I didn't want the other coins. I think they were uh, maple leaves and um, some other coin. I just, I think generic. But I told him I wanted the um, Johnson Matthews um, 
kilos because I do know there's a pretty high premium on them and I got I mean I got them for a good price uh, so the day before I met he said he had to go out of town and uh, he was gonna be back for in a week so while he was out of town he said he got a message from one of his I guess sellers or buyers or something that <clears throat> you know he got he could get a hold of five more kilos I believe these are the newer kilos as they have the serial numbers on them and the newer um, I guess you would call it a stamp I can't really I'm sorry again for the video but he had seven of those that he could get a hold of all serial numbered if I wanted them um, of course I said yes because you know just the research that I've been doing this company doesn't make them anymore um, I believe the one without the serial number is the oldest one if I'm incorrect please uh, you know leave a you know leave a comment and correct me as I did like I just said I just I, I just started collecting silver and stacking silver and gold within two weeks all of this is you know two buys from one guy and um, you know if I'm incorrect about anything I, I apologize up front but I think this is the oldest one out of the eight kilos that I have um, and then I believe this one and this one from the first purchase is the next oldest um, because it has a serial number on the side and then I think this is around the same time period, but like I said, I, I could be totally wrong about that. I've been reading, I've been, you know, listening to your guys' videos. I've been trying to learn, so, you know, thank you for posting your videos. Uh, in between these two bigger buys, you know, I got a hold of this one. It's just a 10 ounce. I think it's from Universal Refri Refri Refiners. Um, nothing special, just a ten ounce. You know, I saw it. I I I think I paid over. I paid too much for it. Um, with the taxes at a t coin store, um, the same guy that you know helped me test all of this. Um, I saw it. You know, I wanted to give him some business since he. Tested it all with his machine for free and uh, said that anytime, you know, I had anything else that I want to test it just to come on in and he would be happy to. So again, I wanted to give him a little bit of business um, and he only had one 10 ounce bar there. I think he had a couple one ounce uh, silver ones and um, so I decided to pick this up. I paid 200 for it about two weeks ago when I believe silver was. 1650 I believe <clears throat> so you know including the tax because it was under a thousand um, I paid about 20 bucks an ounce which to me is crazy I think it's uh, you know it's high but again I don't you know I just started doing this um, a lot of this silver and gold I did get for spot or just above spot um, these generic I think the generic, I'm not sure, but these year of the gilts I got for exactly spot. I got them for uh, 16 bucks when silver was 16 bucks. Um, the J. Matthews I paid a little bit of a premium, but still not too much. I paid, I believe, a buck or a buck fifty over premium. I mean, over spot for these, these two at the time. Um, same thing with the Inglehards. I paid. Um, about a buck I think over spot for those and from what I hear is you know these are highly sought after so I figured you know paying a buck was you know well worth it um, over spot um, <clears throat> the Canadian one ounce from uh, RCM mint um, I think I paid five bucks over spot, if that. Um, the gold pandas, um, I think I paid maybe a couple dollars. I mean, I'd have to. I have all the prices written down, but I think I did pretty good. Um, 
these credit susies or saucies or however I, again I'm not sure I paid I know I paid $20 over spot um, like I said these seven kilos and these two goat ounces were was the second buy that I ever bought and um, I paid 20 out 20 bucks over spot for both of those and then the kilos again I paid a little bit of a premium but I believe I can get that premium back if I ever wanted to sell them um, I paid I believe I paid a buck fifty maybe two dollars over spot for all of these kilos um, but you know thank you for taking your time and listening uh, I'm sorry <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous doing the first YouTube video so you know that's why some of you know it, it may just sound like I'm babbling but you know if any of you could help me out with these two ounces you know the coin dealer when I took it in he tested it through the plastic with his uh, machine that goes you know through the metal and it only, doesn't only test the surface it tests you know into the bar a little bit and you know they passed and they he said they were nine 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 um nine fine gold you know it passed the test it was centered um it was as good as you can get he said uh, but i didn't ask him about the serial number when i was there i just totally forgot i was happy that to me, I thought I got a great bargain. Um, again, you know, coming back home and researching it and looking at it and everything I can see, um, sorry again for the camera, is that the serial number should only be six, six, six characters, six numbers. Um, all the pictures I find online have the only six numbers. This one has seven, including the A in front of the zero. Um, I'm not sure if they came out with new ones that had seven serial numbers or if this is indeed a counterfeit, but I don't know why they would make a counterfeit with real gold. Um, I'm not sure if that's even a real thing. Um, but again, if you could, you know, I'm reaching out to you guys to see if any of you have any information about these two here. Um, you know, I still am in contact with the guy in case of a counterfeit. Uh, you know, I, I'll get my money back. I'm not worried about losing the money. Um, and if he didn't want to work with me, which I know he he will, because I think he knows that you know I'm gonna be a buyer from him for a while. Um, you know, I just want to know what you guys think. If you if you guys know anything about these two. Um, I'm mainly, like I said, I'm mainly concerned about that serial number right there. It does match the front. Let's see if I can get a good. Hmm. I'm sorry, I can't get a good picture of it. But yeah, those two, I'm a little bit worried on. Again, only the serial number. Please, please, if you know any information or you have any yourself, and you, you can help me out on that. You know, let me know, please. Again, thank you for, you know, getting me into this. A lot of your videos are the reason why I decided to go out and spend a little bit of money and um, start stacking. And, you know, it's it's a joy. I, I mean, I, I look at this stuff. I hold it. You know, you can, you can feel the real value in this rather than the, you know, the dollar that I spent to get it. Um, I got two kids and they love holding, you know, the 10 ounce um, and these are 10 ounce bars. But again, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm happy I got into it. I am a little concerned about those two run, one ounce bars, but uh, hopefully one of you can help me out. And like I said, this is my, my silver stack and gold stack as of now. And, I think I did pretty good for two weeks. You know, I, this is all within two buys. Um, like I said, everything pretty much on this side of the table. Was one buy. And then these two ounces and the seven kilos was the other buy. And if these are real, um, if they're legit, he has three more that I 
that I want to buy from him, but I don't want to make that purchase until I find out. So if you could get back to me, thanks again for watching. Thanks again for uh, giving me your insight. And again, sorry for the crappy video and just the rambling and, you know, you know, I'm a little bit nervous, as I said, you know, my first YouTube post. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.